Today I am talking about sacred pleasure. There's this taboo that uh, pleasure is something that you only get maybe in partnerships or that it's only through sex or it's only through sensuality. And what I have found to be true and what I found to be true with my clients and in the different spaces that I've worked in is that pleasure can be in every single moment of our existence. And as we become more practiced in experiencing pleasure through our daily life, whether it's soaking in the sun or whether it's getting in a really juicy vinyasa flow or whether it's listening to music and just really being in your body, it's tapping into the energy of pleasure brings more pleasure to you. So you start to find pleasure in ways that you never even thought before. Eating an avocado or eating an, an apple or an orange or like the simplest of things can be so pleasurable. And when, when we really allow ourselves to receive pleasure, then we see it in, in our relationships. We see it in our own sensuality, in our own sexuality. We see those connections between appreciating how good and satisfying something feels just because we're alive, just because we're human beings and we're meant to connect to the material realm and what it's like to experience divinity in every aspect of our beings. So I invite you, if you haven't felt like you've been experiencing pleasure lately in your life, to feel into what things can be more pleasurable. Find it from yourself in, in the ways that have become mundane or become ordinary or that have become so uh, a part of routine that they maybe have lost its sacredness, it's lost its specialness, it's lost the beauty of what life has to offer. Because as we gain deeper appreciation of those things, life starts to appreciate us more. It's this beautiful reciprocal effect of as we appreciate more, as we receive more pleasure, it just keeps coming back to us twofold. I'm sending you all of my love. Have a beautiful day.